Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video I want to talk about the respiratory system, but I want to focus on the structure and function of various components which we saw in the image in the last video. Uh, the previous video we just mentioned the fact that um, we can divide the respiratory system into the conducting zone and the respiratory zone and we also just touched uh, briefly upon ventilation and gas exchange but now I want to break down this image because I do like this picture here it does show it does show the respiratory system in a decent amount of detail especially for um, the short duration of this video so I'm going to break it down for you uh, yeah so let's begin so um, we can divide the respiratory system into the upper and lower respiratory tract so what does that consist of? Um, the upper respiratory tract consists of um, the oral cavity, the nasal cavity, all of these regions which you can see here, descending all the way down on until we reach the top of the trachea. So that is the upper respiratory tract and we have the lower respiratory tract as well, which is obviously from this region going down all the way down to the lungs and its various components. Now, why is this important to know? Because there are many, many diseases which are just focused specifically on the upper respiratory tract or just the lower respiratory tract. So it's important to bear in mind uh, we, that the actual respir respiratory system can be divided into the upper respiratory tract and lower respiratory tract. So let's move on. You are obviously going to take a breath of air from the environment and it's going to go into the lungs. That's the basics of ventilation and breathing. So how is that going to come about? So the air is going to come in through the, either the oral cavity or it's going to come in either through the nasal cavity. Uh, we also have a frontal sinus here. Now, I know some people who are watching this video suffer from hay fever or some form of sinusitis. Where do you think that comes from? It's from this sinus here. There's a sort of mucus buildup and that's why you get those symptoms such as runny noses, uh, sneezing and irritation. It's from this part here. We have the sphenoid sinus, which is uh, rich in many nerve endings. We have ah this, this structure here, which you can see called the epiglottis. Now, why is it that when you eat something, it doesn't end up in your lungs? That's because we have something here called the epiglottis. So imagine while you're swallowing something, swallowing some a bolus of food, this is going to move downwards to prevent the food going from the um, this region here into the trachea. So instead, it's going to go down into the esophagus and then into the stomach. We have the trachea here. Um, the trachea has this cartilaginous ring around it. It's called cricoid cartilage um, that gives it a very strong structure uh, and then it divides into the bronchi here we obviously have a left lung and a right wrong, a lung um, the left lung only consists of two lobes but the right lung consists of three so here we have the superior lobe the middle lobe and the inferior lobe here we have the superior lobe and the inferior lobe. So um, other aspects, this is called the apex. This is the top of the lungs. We have this region here on the left lung. We have this cardiac notch. So if you can imagine, the, the heart is in this position right here. Now let's go back to the bronchus. So we have the bronchus here. Uh, this is the primary bronchus and it's going to separate into secondary bronchus and then tertiary bronchus and then following on from this you're going to get bronchioles and then following on from that you're going to get alveoli which you can see in this image here so um, I'm going to make a separate video just specifically fo focusing on alveoli but what is the difference between uh, the bronchioles and the bronchus well the bronchus has this cartilaginous ring around it and uh, it's also it also has a type of ciliation within the actual structure itself. It's known as uh, pseudo stratified um, ciliated uh, columnar epithelium, and you don't get that further along. It's designed to help flick up mucus all the way back up, so you can eventually 
flick it up all the way to this point here and then eventually either cough it out or swallow it down into the stomach where if there's any form of bacteria would get killed by the uh, acid in the stomach. So following on, uh, we have the primary bronchus, the secondary bronchus and the tertiary bronchus. Then we have the alveoli. Uh, sorry, then we have the bronchioles and then we have the alve alveoli. And just another quick... Uh, thing to mention is that we have these fissures here which are also there to divide the lung into different lobes so you can see the horizontal fissure here oblique fissure and here we have the oblique fissure and yeah also we have the diaphragm which you can see which is responsible for well its function is contraction when we breathe in and relaxation when we exhale i think that's everything for this video that i want to cover Following videos on from this, we'll talk about the alveoli because it requires a bit more detail, uh, I think. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope this video was useful to you.